Namaste friends and welcome to Bio Studies. We have started the second chapter that is Biological Classification and this is the third video on this chapter. In the previous videos we have studied Aristotle's classification and also we have taken the important terms and definitions with suitable examples. I hope you have gone through the second video of this chapter which is very very important. Okay. Now this video we will take two kingdom classification. Now in the Aristotle's classification we have seen that Aristotle broadly categorized the organisms into two definite groups that is plant group and animal group. Okay. Similar to Aristotle, Carolus Linnaeus also categorized the organisms into two groups but those groups he referred as kingdoms. Okay. Therefore it is called two kingdom classification. So in the year 1758, Carolus Linnaeus, he introduced two kingdom classification and according to two kingdom classification, the organisms were grouped under two definite kingdoms called plant kingdom and animal kingdom. Okay, then what is the difference between Aristotle's and Linnaeus classification? Aristotle class considered only simple characters in the organisms, okay? But the main two characters considered by Linnaeus was nutrition and locomotion. We have studied this nutrition in the previous video, the types of nutrition, okay? So, Carolus Linnaeus, he considered the mode of nutrition and the type of locomotion, sometimes also referred as the mobility, okay? And based on these two characters, he classified them as plants or animals, okay? So, what he did was, all the autotrophs, I hope you remember the meaning, autotrophs, second video, the organisms which can prepare their own food. So, all the autotrophs were grouped under animal kingdom and all the heterotrophs, which cannot prepare their own food, which are dependent on other organisms for food, they were grouped under animal kingdom. Okay. And second character that is locomotion, all the non-moving organisms were grouped under the plant kingdom and all the organisms that can move from one place to another place, they were grouped under animal kingdom. Okay, so this is the classification given by Carolus Linnaeus. So all the non-moving heterotrophs were grouped under plants and all the moving heterotrophs, they are classified under animal kingdom. Okay, and the organisms that, uh, that were considered under plant kingdom, they were bacteria, okay, then fungi, then algae, Okay, and all plants. So these are the organisms that were uh, grouped and put under the plant kingdom. And in case of animal kingdom, all the animals, okay, including protozoans. So this is very important. So during two kingdom classification, even the protozoans like amoeba, paramecium, sporozoans, all those organisms were grouped with animals under animal kingdom. So this was the two kingdom classification given by Carolus Linnaeus. Okay. But later it was found that Two kingdom classification was also very inadequate because it was having many limitations or disadvantages or demerits. Okay, now we will take some limitations here. The first drawback of uh, two kingdom classification was this type of classification the all prokaryotes were grouped with eukaryotes. I hope you remember prokaryotes and eukaryotes, one without nucleus and one with developed nucleus, completely developed nucleus. So, during two kingdom classification, all the prokaryotes and all the eukaryotes were grouped under a single category. For example, see here, we have bacteria, right? Bacteria is a 
prokaryote okay but eukaryotes are what these are the plants so we are taking some examples here so during two kingdom classification the prokaryotic organisms and eukaryotic organisms are mixed under uh, mixed under one category that is the plant kingdom that was the first drawback okay the second drawback was all the autotrophs autotrophs means prepare their own food autotrophs are mixed with heterotrophs okay which are the autotrophs and heterotrophs which are mixed see all the plants are what these are autotrophs isn't it okay but how about fungi fungi are always heterotrophs so during two kingdom classification the different type of organisms are mixed and they are put under a single kingdom okay so like plants which are autotrophs are put with uh, are considered with the fungi which are heterotrophs so this is the second limitation of the two kingdom classification okay the third thing uh, the third differentiation was this two kingdom classification it did not differentiate between the unicellular and multicellular organisms find out which are the unicellular and multicellular here see here protozoans amoeba paramecium euglena so the unicellular organisms okay these are placed with the multicellular and highly evolved organisms like animals so protozoans okay which are unicellular they are placed with animals okay so this is the third limitation or third demerit and we'll take one more the fourth one all the simple organisms are placed with highly evolved organisms okay now which are those simple and highly evolved here see bacteria since they are having primitive type of nucleus okay they are placed with highly evolved plants in the next chapter we have plant kingdom where we will study the different types of plants okay the simpler one and highly evolved one and the highly evolved plants we refer them as angiosperms okay so these simple organisms they are mixed with highly evolved angiosperm type of plants and both of these are considered under one single kingdom so we can take here bacteria which are placed with plants especially the angiosperms okay so these are the few limitations of two kingdom classification so because of these limitations the two kingdom classification was also ruled out okay in the next video we will take three kingdom and four kingdom and five kingdom classification one thing we have to remember here the classification system of organisms has undergone many changes over time and the current which is in use is five kingdom classification so still we are in two kingdom classification so in the next videos we will take three and four kingdom classification and regarding this video you have to remember two kingdom classification and few limitations here okay so we'll meet again in the next video with a new topic Thank you for watching.